Hey guys, Xbox here. Check this out. This is my little mini crawler. No, it's not the low C one. I think this is the uh, it's like sort of like the knockoff version of the <laughs> of the low C one. But anyway, I've had this thing for a while. I've been driving it around. It is great. But you know what? I think it is time for an update. So I want to show you guys sort of what the inside looks at the what the electronics are. You guys can check us out here. I think they're all sort of like generic, right? Got the uh, the brush motor in there. Nothing too fancy on this thing. But I'll tell you, this little <laughs> this little car is definitely fun to uh, to drive around and just bash around. But what I wanted to do is definitely upgrade this to maybe like a brushless and see how it does. I don't know if you guys remember about my little go kart right here, but this thing, you know, had a little bit of a crash, but it's still okay. But I'm thinking I'm going to take the uh, brushless unit out of there and stick in some batteries here and see how this thing goes. But first off, let me give you a go outside here and give you guys an idea of how this thing goes with the stock setup. So there you have it. You can see, I mean, nothing too fancy stock. I mean, this thing does crawl, it does okay, but there's just really no power. So I'm gonna see if I can swap in these electronics or I don't know if I wanna use those or see if I can try and fit in this brushless, little mini brushless system I have here, or maybe take it out of my RC18. But when we back, we'll see how the electronics fit in. All right, just catching up on the build here. So I went ahead and dropped all the electronics out. You guys can see, here's all the, well, some of the old stuff. Here is the transmission. Did you guys see I had to cut a little piece down here? Basically, I just made it so I can fit this in because I didn't think this LiPod, whatever you call it, whatever the motor name is, was gonna actually fit in here. So I actually took one from my RC18, I know, geez, which was this here. But unfortunately, this, I couldn't get the uh, spur gear off. It was sort of stripped, so I didn't want to cut it, and uh, it just wouldn't fit through the little hole. You guys can see this here wouldn't fit through the hole in the bottom, so I just cut the bottom piece off and this just slipped right in. And I think this is gonna do fine. Again, this was in my uh, this was in my smaller car, so we're gonna see how it goes. Or inside my old uh, little go-kart right there, but RC18 is getting salvaged too. You see I'm about to sort of uh, solder some new leads and connections on here, because for some reason I had bullet plugs on there. I don't know why, but everything seems to be going smooth. Hopefully next time I do the, do the uh, quick little update here, you guys will see what it's like done. And just like that, everything is soldered up and put in. So you guys can see I pretty much used the same receiver. You guys can see the LiPod or whatever you want to call it <laughs> motor. I forgot the name of them. I think they're like called LiPod or Lip. They're little, basically like the little Puma ones. I don't know if there's any things on here, but anyway, <clears throat> you can see everything just bolted right up. I uh, went ahead and put Deans back on this because I had bullet connectors, as well as put Deans on this with my soldering iron right there. But anyway. Yeah, there is the final product. So let's go run this thing and see what it does. Now, I, I didn't know how to program the reverse, but I did have the uh, Ford and it was a lot quicker. So we'll see how this goes. All right, guys, I tried to set the end adjustments in the Ford and reverse on my uh, thing here, but for some reason they're reversed, but look how fast this thing is now. It is insane and I don't have reverse, so. <laughs> you guys can see how crazy this thing is. Once I get the uh, the endpoints here reversed, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it is outside. All right, so I just ended up switching the, I'm gonna flip it around here, because I couldn't figure out how to do it on the remote. So I just ended up switching the red and the blue here, just basically reversing the polarity. So when I pull forward, it actually doesn't go back. For any of you guys out there to know how to program one of these easy, uh, I went by the instructions that I've seen online, but unfortunately it just, wasn't the right thing. So let's go get this thing outside and see what it can do. Also, I don't have reverse. So if you guys know how to program that, let me know. I plugged in my programming card and it says I have reverse, but unfortunately it doesn't look that way. But this thing is insane. <laughs> let me go show you guys. 
All right, guys, before you say it, I'm gonna tip this thing over a ton of times, but the thing is, is I don't have a way to adjust these shocks to make them any lower, to make the car sit lower, or I would. Um, if you guys know how, let me know, but there is just really no place to put the shocks other than where they're at. So here we go, check this thing out. Hope you guys enjoy.